I went to the bathroom at a local grocery store and I was about to leave my stall and someone came in crying and started to give themselves a pep talk in the mirror. I don't know if they know mm-hmm. I'm Was in it here, me? <laughs> but I would like to leave. Is it acceptable to go wash my hands next to them as they have their moment? That was from Bathroom Boohoo Buddy. Oh, are boy. You, are you an older person who can provide a sort of sagacious little 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 bit, little monologue for them? Yeah. Or an older person that can pretend you're them from the future who just came back to tell them that everything is going to work out just fine. Yeah. That one might be tough depending on like if you look nothing like them at all at all. You don't um, know what how, what the future holds, Griffin. Yeah. Maybe carry around like a cyber mask with yeah. you everywhere you go. And that's great. You're in the stall, you're in the bathroom, and you hear somebody crying out in the sink area, the hand washing zone, and you're like, okay, hold on. And you pull on the sort of like lycra suit and yeah. f- cyber mask, and then you walk out of the stall like it helps if you have some like DJ equipment with you and you can yeah. do like a smoke machine and a light show. And you can be like, contain your moisture. And they're like, whoa, what? And you're like, yeah, I'm you from the future. I'm a robot cyber DJ. I guess if this is the case, you don't have to be an older person. Yeah, anyone could do that. Anyone could be that. With a little, could... with a little forethought, anyone yeah. can do that. And you could say like, I'm a, I am you from the future. I, I do look younger than you, but that's because uh, that's time dilation. So yeah. go, so that, and that's Einstein said that. I feel like if I went out there when they're in the middle of their of their challenging episode, that might be a little too disorienting. Because like, imagine if one of your favorite podcasters just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, and statistically, it's like, uh, yeah. Justin McElroy is yeah. in this bathroom, and I'd be like. Guilty as charged. Well, that's well, that's when you say, well, your friends paid for what we're calling a real life cameo. And <laughs> yeah. so I, I'm here waiting for you to come in so I can tell that's you, good. hey, man, everything's going to be okay. And make sure to check out Trolls World Tour. <laughs> I still <laughs> get still, residuals. Bye. The residuals on that one, baby. You guys would not believe. Do you buy that on? We're going to need you to buy a physical copy, though. And I know that that's not cool these <laughs> days, but they have them here at the store. I just saw a big display of them by the front. Hey, real life sidebar. If I had known that when you do parts in a movie, Mm-hmm. They keep sending you money for yeah. no reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would have tried to be in movies long ago. We yeah, should not just I mean, no, Don't get it twisted. We're not putting in a hot tub with this. <laughs> this is really no, 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 no. money. This is a very small bit of money, but it does come for no reason. For no reason. And it's for no just, reason at all. Just a little surprise letter from our friends at DreamWorks. Hey, hey guys, us. here's 20 bucks. People hey, thanks. Saying, wow, 20. Woo! I would love that. Man, if I was getting twenty dollar checks from Trolls World Tour, I'd be I'd be a happy young happy it's young like guy. If you went to babysit and uh, on top of the money they were paying you at babysit, they said, Here's some money to order a pizza if you want, and you're like, Well, hey. And we'll keep yeah. sending you pizza money yes. every few months for no reason yeah. for the rest of your life. It's the closest I've come to that feeling of completing the the paper from Book It to get a free personal pan pizza at Pizza Hut in my adult life. That's what residuals wow, are Trav. to me. What? I don't I'm not sure I understood that reference, which makes me think that none of our listeners. Pizza Hut know. Book yeah, It? You Pizza Hut Book It. You read enough books or get good grades or something, and you get free pizza. Free personal pan pizzas. I think it's a real nice moment for human connection. Some of the t- times I've had in my life that I've felt like, you know. The, the hand of of any sort of like divine forces or whatever is when I've been there when somebody else is upset. That's great because it doesn't have to be about you for a little bit. You can chill yep. on your own problems. Just be like, hey, let's talk. Let's talk through it if you feel like it. If not, I'm gonna wash my hands. And I'm gonna leave. But right now, I'm an open book, baby. Let's go through it. I'm a stranger. Who better? Yeah, this is actually one of those rare times where pretending like it's not happening is what makes it awkward. Like, if you just walk out and, like, eyes forward, wash your hands and dry your hands, eyes forward, and walk out silently. Yeah. Now, whatever rough time that person's going through, they are both embarrassed and isolated. Where if you come out and, like, hey, you know, you got this, or it it gets better, or whatever, and then walk or, out, made it. Or, or, I think we all agree or, that being there for someone in their time of need is a very good feeling. So whatever they're giving you from out there in sync zone, you walk out of that stall 
and you take it, you take it up a level. Uh -oh. You escalate. You, your so life is worse. If, if they're well, you don't have to say that. Obviously, <laughs> that's not the right thing to do. But if they're giving you like, <laughs> you come at them with like, <laughs> like, and you're way more really fucked up. Really perspective. <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then they look at you and they're like, oh, wow. Wow, it could be a lot worse. What's going on with you? And then you're gonna have to lie and you know say like you know I uh, I just watched up uh, on my phone on the yeah. toilet. You could also just walk out covered in blood and say like ah oh, no not again. And that now you've distracted them from what I'm doing. Be on such short notice though. Well, with a little bit of preparation, it's right there with your in your bag next to your DJ equipment and your cyber helmet. You're yeah. coming out, oh, and talk. what does this situation call for? What are they crying about? Oh, they got fired? Mm -hmm. Is that a blood situation or I'm you from the future? Oh, you also rip a big one. And that's a, <laughs> that's a bathroom joke that like everyone really can Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A, that, uh, Griffin, I actually think that may be the best <laughs> advice is if you just like simulate a gigantic beefer. There yeah. is no time that I've ever heard that in my life that I yeah. have not busted up a hundred percent. Yeah, I was in the Bucky's restroom with uh, Henry helping him do his thing when someone made a Break rude noise. <laughs> someone, someone made a rude noise in an adjacent stall and Henry just started laughing. Yeah. And I had to look at him and be like, you can't. You can't do that. This is a special place. This is a special place where you yeah. can do that without judgment from five-year-olds. It's the you, closest you, the everyday person gets to diplomatic immunity. <laughs> yeah, please. But I think if you do it when someone's crying, they know it's like for their benefit. Yeah. And they'll be like, thank you. Um, so that should work too. A lot of great stuff you can do in the bathroom. It's a funny room. A funny <laughs> yeah, we don't room. talk about this enough. Rooms. Why don't more One people make bathroom rooms. jokes? I don't know. Uh, let's take a quick break, and then we'll come back with uh, lots more content. Uh, to the money zone. Uh, okay. I guess the money zone is content, right? Yeah. It's all content, baby. It's all content. This is content. Listen, they're paying by the minute. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. 